In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most effective route combos out of the Gun Bunch formation to attack man coverage and zone coverage, specifically cover two zone coverage or any kind of like solo wide receiver outside third tactic that people will utilize to try to take away C routes. Now, if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, we're in the Saints playbook today, you can get the entire, uh, we have several different bunches broken down in the Patreon, uh, including Saints, Washington, Carolina, uh, Indianapolis, and some other ones as well well uh, i think pittsburgh as well so if you want to become a member it's only ten dollars to do so and you get access to everything all of our ebooks even offenses that aren't bunch and defenses as well so if you want to become a member again the link's in the description uh, but the play that we're gonna be taking a look at today um, is the play uh, flood out of the gun bunch formation now you can ah, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i touched wrong uh verticals verticals we're gonna take a look at verticals and it's really to create this kind of concept that i really like uh, like I said, to be able to attack zone or really any time that our opponent is trying to drop zones to defend the solo wide receiver. So verticals is the play. And the setup is actually really simple. Um, you don't have to have to. Uh, you don't have to take the slot receiver and put him on this slot apprentice post. I just think that that's better for and, and more efficient for beating man coverage. Okay, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So here's the setup in a, in a, in a quick uh, manner. Block the running back, drag the solo receiver. Now, this is creating a shallow cross concept. And what this concept does well is it attacks man very well. It attacks zone on the bunch side very well. It's going to also attack an outside third on the left side if that's their strategy to defend this. So let me give you an example of a very common defense. Very common defense would be to outside third here on the left and then maybe drop like a hard flat over here. And then on the right side, you know, maybe do something simple like this. And then the mid read from this guy or kind of more like a, a robber over the middle of the field. So what's gonna happen is that middle third or those thirds will let this drag go underneath. And now we make, we make the user have to defend the drag route. Now the reason, that it's another reason why I really like to post uh, the slot receiver against just straight man coverage we're blocking the running back so we should have decent protection um against just straight up man coverage first and foremost you have this quick throw if they're not shading underneath you can throw that all day long and you should um, that is one of the most reliable quick throws in the game this year um, so you should be taking advantage of that if they aren't shading down or they don't have a hard flat what most people have started to do on the bunch side to combat this would be to put a hard flat over there and then take the safety and man him up on that outside bunch receiver and to have man coverage from that linebacker. This leaves him four blitzers. Typically, you're going to get a third from this over, over here. This guy could be in one of several different things. They might send, they probably will send four. And then again, the user's in the middle of the field here. Now, if it's just straight man to man, so let's say that they maybe do a scissor adjustment over here on the left side, I want you to watch what happens. Both defenders in a scissor, if they block, if you block the running back and they scissor, the both defenders are going to use that drag. So there's going to be the drag is going to be double teamed. So you see how they kind of like bait onto him. Now you've got that crosser or that post isolated one on one over the middle of the field and it has to be user defended. Otherwise, it's going to be open every single time um, against man coverage. And so the user has to has to has to absolutely has to go guard the uh, the post or the crosser. OK, um, and it can be a post or a crosser. That's up to you. And it can actually that also can change depending on what Madden you're playing, right? Some Madden's the crosser's better, some Madden's the post is better, okay? Um, so I wanna leave that variable for you. But the wheel routes on the left, even if you are on the right, even if you can't throw them off of the snap, they are going to do a really good job of pulling any zone outside and it opens up this whole middle of the field where even though the drag route's being double teamed, I can typically check it down to the drag route against man-to-man -man coverage. Not to mention the fact that most of the time people are putting that defender over there on the left side in the third because they want to try to stop a C route. And then if we take all those coverage adjustments back over here on the right, this is what it looks like. Typically, you're going to see this guy backed off coverage. But now guess what? This guy has to use her the post at least to about the, the 50, like the numbers. He has to use her the post about that far. Um, like he has to carry the post and deliver it to the third, if you will. And so because of that, 
what you'll notice here, and I forgot to drag him, but you see like the, the post route cooks man coverage. Like it just beats man. So if the post route beats man consistently, right? Then what we have to do is we have to carry it. So this is gonna be like a mid-read defender, kinda. Kinda like he'll play very similarly to a mid-read. You got a third on the left side, so guess who's gonna be wide open again? Your drag route. So if they go with the post in man, then you are going to throw that route right underneath. Super easy read uh, for you offensively. This spaces the field horizontally really, really well um, against a lot of different defenses. Now, let's say that they go to zone. And the most popular zone that we're seeing, um, let me jump over to the short side. You can run this on either hash mark. It doesn't have to be wide or short side. Um, but the most popular zone that we're seeing right now is some type of cover two double Mabel uh, or, uh, on the bunch side. So let's say it is that. And you have a vert hook here. And then again, they're in the middle of the field, right? So it looks something like this with them in the middle of the field here. Now on the back side, it could be, you know, scissor adjustment. It could be it, it could be a lot of different adjustments. But if they're going to go coverage, uh, typically you're going to get something like this. Now, the user still has to take the post route. He has to take the post route. And what you get over here on the right side is this verticals concept with the seam wheels. This outside wheel is going to pull out the flats, and you can throw this flat up the middle just like that right there. Now, another thing that you're starting to see a lot of people do is they're putting outside thirds um, they're putting their safeties in outside thirds. Real quick though, if they don't do that, let's say that they just don't do that for whatever reason, um, and they are in a coverage like this right here, this is one of the best concepts in the game for attacking this style of defense because this tight end route is going to hold the deep half defender. And then this outside wheel route with a free form, you are gonna be able to free form that up and outside and have a pretty good chance for a big play over the top, maybe even a one play touchdown. And again, if you're on the wide side of the field, that might be a little bit better um, specifically for that. So they're gonna to have to do things like man up the tight end and zone. They're gonna, I mean, if they just try to play this in straight zone coverage, their user is going to end up having to go guard the, the tight end. And this is where the high balls are so good this year. So they go there, I high ball here, and then I try to basically avoid the KO. I also could have just checked down to the drag. So there's so many options with this. And again, it just spaces the field so well, whether it be against man or zone, even straight man to man over here on this left side. You see again, look at that post just gets super open against the man coverage. So it's one of my favorite plays for stretching the field horizontally while still being able to attack somewhat down the field. And it counters a lot of other things that you are gonna be doing out of bunch, such as the C route on the left, or the Y curl route um, where the cross man can defend this well. Cross man really can't, like if I just, if I just straight up cross man uh, here on this side, it's not gonna be super great um, against the drag. Like the drag will find separation and they're still having to use her over here. So you'll see like right here, like, yeah, he's with him, but I can cut that off in possession. Gets that as a nice little check down read. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire bunch offense, uh, like I said, we've broken down multiple different playbooks, bunch, bunch offset. We've shown several different things in the Patreon. Uh, you can become a member today for just $10 and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. And I guarantee you that's going to help you take your game to the next level, even for Madden 24. So thanks for watching the video and head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.